Good morning, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing some low voltage in the shack today. Stuff. Um, this is a Milwaukee power source. I'm actually going to mount one somewhere in here. I haven't decided yet, but just right to the wall. And that will give me 12 volt power supply here and a USB power here. Then I got this new power supply. It's Milwaukee. It's got 110. So when we kill the generator, we'll have 110 volts and it's got a couple of USBs as well. So, but I'll use the 12 volt power supply to power fish finders. And so I'm going to put a female port where the fish finder is going to go. That'll give me power. Won't have to have a, an external battery. We'll also tie in some 12 volt LED lights. We talked about last video, the UV lights so we can fish in the dark. Um, Oh, also on the exterior of the shack, I'm going to run 12 volt um, lights as well. I picked up some solar ones and they were like two of them for about 25 bucks. But I figured we may as well for another 25 bucks get the real deal, get the same lights I put on my four wheeler, maybe even some wider ones. So that way, if we're tip up fishing, we can flip the switch and boom, we're going out there and getting our walleye. So I'll give you a little closer view of this Milwaukee tool here. Um, they just came out with it, I don't know, about a year ago. It's called a Top Off Power Supply. It's 175 watts. And I actually tried it on my CPAP when I was staying at a friend's house. And it worked with the heater for about six hours on a 12 amp hour battery. So that's not too bad. Um, it's got a little retainer deal here for sitting on a rafter when you're building houses and stuff. You just hang that on a 2x4. My plan is to mount a 2x4 somewhere, drill a hole in it, and have this slide down in the hole. And it'll just kind of swivel around and be stationary. I can move it around the, the uh, shack a little bit. And uh, should be a good deal. This baby, this is the power source. This is one that was uh, a generic one. But I actually am going to take this apart, pop a couple holes in here shoot them shoot some screws into a stud you've got your 12 volt port here and uh, a usb back here and it's actually switched which is nice because i mean if you have lights hooked to it or whatever those switches are pretty nice and i, I run a lot of my fish finders on this power source it does a good job another thing i want to address today is forceps and miscellaneous tools that we use just find a home for so that. I'm back at it again tonight. Um, I drew me a plan on the low voltage system, so now I can implement it. Um, I've been thinking it, thinking it, and thinking it, and not getting anywhere. Got frustrated the other night, and uh, but now we got it on paper. We're just going to follow the plan and go for it. I'll kind of show you what the plan is here. So here's our TV up here, our couch, bed. So I'm going to put my M18 adapter right here and that's going to power a fish finder on this wall maybe a usb and a cigarette lighter potentially for cameras and whatnot so there'll be a couple items of power there then i'm going to do a porch light here with a switch and a porch light here with a switch and then there's going to be an overhead light i'm just using one of those clam hub lights i had one laying around so i'm going to use that So I put a little staple here. We'll have our lights coming out on the porch here. Um, and I'm, I'll have a little extra wire to put a switch on the inside. I tried to run my low voltage away from the 110. I couldn't right in this door area here, but um, I just don't want any interference if I can help it. So once again, we'll have a light right here outside and then we'll have some some slack here for switches probably put a switch right in this area on the inside of the building if you can see in that corner there's some wires that will be for our milwaukee power source so that power source will go there and then we'll have a light up top in the ceiling two porch lights and some wiring for the fish finders okay so i got this clam hub light 
I've drilled a little hole right here. We'll just feed the wire up. It's actually got its own switch right there, so I'm just going to leave that and call it good. I know it looks like I've got some money into this thing, but really, the only thing I've actually gone out to the store and bought are these USB outlets and a couple dimmer switches. So, we're into this thing pretty minimal so far. So that's what we're looking at. I'll go grab a screw real quick and we'll shoot it up in So there. I went and got a pretty white headed screw for this uh, light here. So it'll look pretty. Decided to put some boxes there for my light switches outside. Easy enough to do. So I had every intention of using low voltage switches here, but they were just too Chinese. So we're going to go ahead and get these normal switches and call it good. So I'll just put in a normal switch. The other ones were falling apart on me. Hopefully we're getting fat and happy again. Just hate dealing with junk. Boom, boom. That'll last the rest of my life. Off, on, wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Okay, so I've got that power source mounted. We'll just set it in there. Okay. There's that. Now I'll go get the screws and tidy it up. We'll do them all loose first. Make sure our threads are started. Then we'll drive them home. Okay. So now, let there be light. Ha! All right, guess what, boys? I didn't realize that would make that go, but it, it shot it up. We got power. Ha, ha, ha. I can also switch the system off and on right down here. That's cute. Let there be light. Nice. I'll turn these ones off. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we'll put a charger right next to that. There we go. Milwaukee Central Station. So in the daytime, we'll be charging this battery, and at nighttime, we'll be using this. Okay, so we got the second switch hooked up for the outside porch light. Okay, so I just ran to town and got this this morning. Uh, it's got the cigarette lighter and three USBs, and uh, you just plug it into your car, cigarette lighter. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is take that wire and just cut it. And I'm gonna hook this up to a fish finder and I'm gonna wire this into our 12 volt system that we've been working on. Feel really good about solder joints here. Using the buddy heater as a helping hand. Went ahead and soldered a 
an extra female connector here so we can have that for fish finders and miscellaneous stuff and I'm sure there's better ways of doing this but it is what it is kind of like this little soldering iron Milwaukee M12 takes a little bit to heat up but not very much it does a pretty good job if you're just doing little service jobs like this I actually like to use it on my boat um, just anywhere you need cordless you know and the trick to soldering is to heat on the underside of your whatever you're heating let the heat rise and you'll get capillary action on the solder and it just it's kind of like Cheerios on the edge of your cereal bowl they just attract to it that's capillary action and it works the same way with soldering so just put your soldering iron right down here and touch your solder as far away as you can and it'll suck it right in towards the heat so we're using rosin core solder so the rosin is your flux and uh, that's what makes it helps it flow and adhere so it looks like we hooked it up right so now we'll go ahead and throw our heat shrink on okay so there's what we've got that auxiliary power for we just threw down a showdown trailer it's just a fish finder I picked up last year I probably never use so I'm gonna have it be for this right side of the unit here and then I've got a RT9 coming from Markham this week we're gonna mount over here and I'm not sure if it shuts off when we play movies if it doesn't I'm gonna put the Markham in a cupboard so I can shut the door on it while we watch things on the big screen so that makes me happy as far as now when we don't have 110 going outside we can still have a fish finder so here's what we use the cigarette lighter for check this out get your glow lure there boom you just push on that little switch there lights it up <laughs> oh man the things fat people think about at night not bad pretty simple well guys I think I'm gonna call out a video um, got everything working low voltage wise so we're gonna start a different project on the next one probably do the inside walls here with the paneling we'll get some insulation down and uh, start to roofing too so it was kind of fun today we got our 18 volt stuff mounted running 12 volt off the side we've got that fish finder put in we've got a glow light um, that glow light turned out pretty cool I put a switch on it and uh, it's gonna be fun to fun to use very uh, functional so got some rod holders up here that I'm just kind of fiddling around with I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the other ends of them but uh, you know I had a board cut out but it didn't want to hold together so we'll we'll figure that out next time but uh, I'm excited with what we got got our light going up here porch lights on both sides yeah so it's gonna be good We've got USBs up front on batteries and that'll help me uh, run my camera equipment for videos so, so thanks for joining me on this one and we will see you on the next one I'm excited with the progress we're making um, we could go a lot faster but I'm just kind of tooling along getting it tricked out so thanks for all your support thanks for all the good ideas see you next time